Now, I'm not one to gossip, but I will bring you the tea. Welcome to Chronicle Speaks. So your girl Nene broke the internet yesterday and I guess sis is just used to breaking up everything because they said she's over there breaking up marriages too. Well I have an update. I went to the courthouse yesterday and I was going crazy because I couldn't find the docs. Y'all know that's what I do. I wasn't going to stop until I got them. Went to two different courthouses but I finally got the receipts y'all. Do you want me to lie. bring the receipts? Do I need to bring the receipts? And baby is it juice? See, but before we get into all of that, be sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss out on any of this tea. Now let's get back into it. So to catch you up really quick before we get into these docs, news broke yesterday that Nene was being sued by her boyfriend's wife for alienation of affection. And we did find out yesterday that North Carolina is one of the beautiful seven states that does allow for suing of alienation of affection. Now, as far as I know, Nene has already been served, but guess what? Sis is acting like she truly does not care. Nene is online taking pictures with the man still, videoing herself with the man still, in the car playing money long hours and hours. That's your boy Yanni man is over there giving her her superpowers, baby. Close your legs to married men. We love y'all. So, so much is going on in the world. Let's just try to show each other a little more love. <laughs> and I really mean that from the bottom of my heart. It's a lot going on in the world. Mm -hmm. I'm already out here a husband stealer. And this is too much. And ain't nobody out here stealing husbands. Are they? I, I would never. There's too many going around, honey. It's a lot of single people out here. Last night, I saw a lot of single people in the building last mm -hmm. night. So, um, I don't think it's nobody want to steal nobody else's problems. I can tell you that, honey. <laughs> 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 Then Yanni took to Instagram in a later deleted post and said this, the best you can do to yourself in life, not to allow people to bring you down to their level, just maintain your self-respect and keep away from them. Know that you cannot hang out with negative people and expect to live a positive life. Don't forget that the less you respond to negative people, like my separated, the more peaceful your life will become. Always surround yourself with people who value your worth and if someone doesn't appreciate your presence, the best you can do is let them appreciate your absence. Avoid the ingrates. Wow. Those who complain about one thing you haven't done for them instead of being appreciative for the thousands of things you've done for them. Leave them to stew in their ingratitude, but don't hate them. Just maintain your focus and don't stress. Hashtag stay focused. Child, speaking of staying focused, let's go ahead and focus on these docs because it's a lot to get into. Now, I took out the name of her county and her city. She's not a celebrity, so let's go ahead and protect her on that. But we will be reading these docs because it is on public record. So I'm going to go ahead and skip to section three. It says plaintiff is lawfully married to Yoni Sela, JCO, on November 10th, 2016 in Charlotte, North Carolina, and subsequently separated on or about December 17th, 2021. There is one minor child born of this marriage, namely, I'm not going to say his name, born November 8th, 2010. He is age 11. The North Carolina court has jurisdiction over the subject matter of this case and Blank County is the proper venue for this case. Plaintiff is a natural person under legal disability over the age of 18 who owns real and personal property in North Carolina. Venue of this action is proper in Blank County, North Carolina, the residence of the plaintiff. The court has subject matter jurisdiction over the claims asserted herein. The court has personal jurisdiction over the parties. So let's get into first cause of action, alienation of affection. Plaintiff hereby repeats and realleges that allegations set forth in paragraph one through nine of plaintiff's complaint for alienation of affection in criminal conversation and incorporates them by reference as though fully set forth therein. Plaintiff and her husband prior to the wrongful interference and in conduct of defendant, Miss Nene Leakes, as described herein, enjoyed a genuine happy marital relationship in which some degree of love, affection, society, companionship, comfort, friendship, and favorable mental attitude existed between them. Plaintiff and her husband enjoyed an active sexual relationship. They was getting it in, y'all. Plaintiff and her husband raised their minor child together. He was a good daddy, allegedly. Defendant's conduct as described herein 
and the resulting injuries complained of herein and for which relief is sought occurred in North Carolina. Upon information and belief during the plaintiff's marriage, defendant and plaintiff's husband engaged in an ongoing romantic, uninhibited, adulterous affair without the knowledge or consent of plaintiff. While defendant and plaintiff's husband engaged in their affair, plaintiff's husband repeatedly lied to plaintiff about his whereabouts and the nature and extent of his relationship with defendant. Defendant has publicly posted and continues to publicly post berating, tactless, and insensitive intimate pictures of herself with plaintiff's husband on social media, causing further embarrassment and humiliation of plaintiff. Defendant Nene Leakes has paraded her relationship with plaintiff's husband to her friends and associates and published the status of her relationship on public media, causing plaintiff even more embarrassment, humiliation, and disgrace. Defendant has taken international trips to France, the Bahamas, and Ghana with plaintiff's husband. Plaintiff's husband told plaintiff that he was only visiting Ghana, but failed to tell plaintiff that he was traveling with defendant. Upon information and belief, on or about December 14, 2021, defendant spent her birthday with plaintiff's husband in Atlanta, Georgia. Plaintiff's husband lied to plaintiff when asked where he was going at the time and he responded that he was going to Atlanta with friends. Upon information and belief on or about December 18, 2021, defendant was with plaintiff's husband on his birthday. When plaintiff asked her husband where he was spending his birthday, he lied again and told her he was going to Atlanta. Husband was actually in Miami, Florida with defendant as defendant prepared a birthday celebration for plaintiff's husband at the time. Throughout the adulterous affair, Defendant traveled to several states, including but not limited to Florida, North Carolina, and Georgia with plaintiff's husband or to visit plaintiff's husband. Throughout December 2021, defendant was with plaintiff's husband, further separating him from his wife and son during the Christmas holiday season. Defendant publicly touts her adulterous relationship through public displays of affection by kissing, embracing, and caressing plaintiff's husband and posting images of the illicit affair on social media. Defendant is a reality personality and actress, and she uses her prominence and recognition to entice plaintiff's husband by introducing him to defendant's celebrity associates and connections, further alienating him from plaintiff and his minor child. As a result of the adulterous relationship between defendant and plaintiff's husband, the love and affection which existed between plaintiff and her husband was alienated, estranged, and destroyed. Defendant's wrongful and malicious conduct was a cause of the loss of alienation of such love and affection between plaintiff and her husband. Upon information and belief at the time of the adulterous acts, which led to the alienation of affection, defendant had knowledge that plaintiff and her husband were married. As a result of the alienation of affection, Infections, plaintiff has suffered in the following ways loss of support he ain't giving her no more money y'all loss of services in the home child it sound like the cable done got cut off loss of consortium loss of affection emotional distress and injury to reputation and or health destruction of domestic comfort loss of companionship friendship sexual relationships aid and assistance from her husband, mental anguish and loss of support from her husband. Due to the defendant's reckless and reprehensible conduct, plaintiff has suffered permanent damages since the estrangement from her husband and its enduring effects are devastating on the plaintiff, y'all. Defendant's ongoing shameful actions of public parading her relationship with plaintiff's husband constitute malice and or willful and wanton conduct. Defendant was aware of plaintiff's marriage to her husband at all times relevant to this action. Upon information and belief, defendant was aware of plaintiff's and her husband and their love and affection for each other relevant to this action. Upon information and belief, defendant was aware of plaintiff and her husband's minor child and their love and affection for this child at all times relevant to this action. Defendant's conduct as described herein constitutes an unjustified and unexcused invasion of plaintiff and her husband's genuine marital relationship. The malicious and wrongful conduct of defendant as described herein injured the genuine marital relationship of plaintiff and her husband and was the control controlling and effective cause of such injury. Plaintiff's marriage to her husband deteriorated due to defendant's adulterous relationship with plaintiff's husband 
As approximate result of defendants knowing malicious and wrongful conduct as described herein, plaintiff incurred actual damages. Plaintiff has been deprived of love, affection, companionship, society, consortium, sexual relations, and economic support of her husband as a result of defendants' actions. As a direct and proximate result of defendants' wrongful and unjustified conduct as set forth herein, plaintiff suffered mental anguish, humiliation, injury to her health and reputation, and the loss of support of her husband. Defendant's conduct as alleged herein constitutes malice and willful and wanton conduct. The malicious and willful and wanton conduct is related to the injury suffered by plaintiff for alienation of affection and defendant directly participated in such conduct. Plaintiff's claim for alienation of affection is not barred in whole or in part by North Carolina General Statute 5213 or any statute of limitations. The plaintiff hereby repeats and realleges the allegations set forth in paragraph 1 1 through 42 of plaintiff's complaint for alienation of affection and criminal conversation and incorporates them by reference as though fully set forth herein. Upon information and belief, defendant and plaintiff's spouse engaged in multiple episodes of sexual intercourse without knowledge, consent, or connivance on the part of the plaintiff. Upon information and belief, defendant committed adultery and had sexual intercourse and carnal relations with plaintiff's husband while he was married to plaintiff and prior to the physical separation of plaintiff and her husband. By reason of the acts of sexual sexual intercourse between defendant and plaintiff's spouse and the resulting injuries to plaintiff, plaintiff has sustained actual damages. Plaintiff has suffered actual damages, including but not limited to dishonor of the marriage bed, alienation of affections, destruction of domestic comfort, deprivation and loss of consortium with her husband, deprivation and loss of society from her husband, loss of companionship, friendship, sexual relations, aid and assistance from her husband, invasion and deprivation of exclusive marital rights and privileges, mental anguish, embarrassment and humiliation, injury to health, reputation and loss of support from her husband. The actions of defendant were intentional, malicious and constituted willful and or wanton conduct and and plaintiff is entitled to punitive damages in such amounts as may be determined by trial. Defendant's actions as set forth herein constitute egregiously wrongful, willful, aggravated, and wanton conduct by defendant. That conduct is related to the injury suffered by plaintiff for criminal conversation and defendant directly participated in such conduct. Plaintiff is entitled to an award of punitive damages against defendant. Plaintiff's claim for criminal conversation is not barred in any way in whole or in part by North Carolina. Carolina General Statute 5213 or any statute of limitations. Okay, so this is where we get to the money part. It says, wherefore, plaintiff respectfully prays the court as follows to accept this verified complaint as an affidavit in support of the relief prayed for herein and upon which the court may base its order. That plaintiff having recovered from defendant an amount in excess of $25,000 as compensatory damage for defendant's alienation of affection of plaintiff's husband and plaintiff's resulting loss of consortium, mental anguish, humiliation, injury to health and reputation, loss of support, and deprivation of love, affection, companionship, and society of her husband. That plaintiff have and recover from defendant an amount in excess of $25,000 as punitive damages for defendant's alienation of affection of husband. That plaintiff have and recover from defendant an amount in excess of $25,000 as compensatory damages for defendant's criminal conversation with plaintiff's husband and plaintiff's resulting loss of consortium, mental anguish, humiliation, injury to health and reputation, loss of support and deprivation of love, affection, companionship and society to her husband. That plaintiff having recovered from defendant an amount in excess of $25,000 as punitive damages for the defendant's criminal conversation with plaintiff's husband. That plaintiff have and recover interest from defendant pursuant to the provisions of North Carolina General Statute 24 through 5 for compensatory damages recovered of defendant for alienation of affection. That plaintiff have and recover interest from defendant pursuant to provisions of North Carolina General Statute 24 through 5 for compensatory damages recovered of defendant for criminal conversation to tax the cost of this action against defendant for a trial by jury on all issues in this action for such other relief to which plaintiff is entitled in law and equity. Child, they are given Lanithia Monique Leakes 30 days to respond to this action. I don't know if she responded yet. This was done on the 23rd of May, so we'll see what happens. My thing is this, if all it took was somebody showing your man a little bit of the celebrity life in order for him to leave you and your son, he wasn't your man to begin with, sis. 
if this is all really true, if this was not a setup from the beginning. Well, it could have been a scheme that Todd set up for him to come to you with the booze. 25,000 here, 25 there, 25. It seems like they're really just penny pinching. They were doing a lot of repeating of the actions and everything. I don't know what's going on. But if my man is gone, gallivanting with some chick, y'all out there having a good old time, honey. He done showed you to the family over there in Africa. I wish I would say $100,000. Their trips probably cost more than $100,000. I need 10 million off top. My neck, my back, my neck and my back, everything is gonna hurt. Play with me if you want to. It's Close your legs to married men, trash box. Now that you've heard the inner workings of this whole lawsuit, honey, what do you think? Do you think it was still a setup? Do you think that the husband just left the wife high and dry because he got the good life with Nene and starting to hang around these celebrities? I need to hear from you. Y'all know how we do. We'll talk about it down in the comments. Talk to you guys later. Bye. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and hit that bell so you don't miss any of my new episodes.